Ukraine could begin to reclaim its territories as early as 2025, and all it needs is sufficient Western assistance. The Telegraph writes, as the newspaper notes, a Ukrainian breakthrough in Russia's Kursk region could significantly stretch Russian forces along the entire front and buy time for Western aid to arrive and reinforce Ukrainian forces. In addition, this incursion casts doubt on Russia's ability to launch any major offensive operations before the end of the year. According to The Telegraph, Russia will be forced to choose between ensuring the security of the Kursk region and continuing offensive operations in the Donbass since it has few reserve units left that are capable of countering Ukrainian armored vehicles in the Kursk region. The advantage of Ukrainian forces in this region is that they do not have to defend Ukrainian territory, which means Kyiv can choose the best places to defend in the region, which would make a Russian counter-offensive extremely costly. Moreover, the newspaper notes, throughout the war, Russia enjoyed security along its border, which allowed it to send more troops to fight in Donbass. The recent Ukrainian operation in Kursk now changes the situation, requiring Russia to fortify its entire border. This will require tens of thousands of troops, hundreds of pieces of equipment and fortifications. In addition, the Kremlin will have to spend months replenishing personnel and replenishing supplies. Ukraine's incursion is also changing Russian air operations. Russian helicopters have proven vulnerable to Ukrainian drones in Kursk, and Ukrainian drone strikes on airfields in Western Russia have limited the presence of aircraft. Russian ground and air forces are stretched to a level they have not been stretched throughout the war. This will slow Russian operations in the coming months, spilling over into a wet autumn and cold winter that are halting operations in Ukraine. It gives Ukraine the opportunity to rebuild and re-equip its forces between now and spring 2025, the Telegraph writes. But Western aid is crucial to this, and if it is provided in sufficient quantities, it could significantly improve Ukraine's chances of starting to build its territory in 2025. The publication concludes, Recall the Ukrainian army's offensive in the Kursk region forced Moscow to redeploy its troops. The Russian military leadership is transferring units from the Ukrainian Zaporizhia region in connection with the Ukrainian armed forces operation in the Kursk region. President Vladimir Zelensky stated that Russians are gradually being forced out of the Kharkiv region. On the night of August 24, there was a drone attack on the city of Ostrogozhsk, Voronezh region, Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. As a result of the attack of the kamikaze drone belonging to the Ukrainian army, an explosion and fire occurred in the ammunition warehouse. About 200 people were evacuated from three nearby villages. Two people are said to have been injured. There is a training center for armored vehicle service specialists in Ostrogosk. According to the governor of the Voronezh region, Alexander Guzov, the drones that attacked the area were allegedly neutralized by air defense systems, and the fire began due to falling debris. However, the governor did not specify the exact location of the fire or what was detonating. He claims that no casualties or damage to civilian buildings have been reported so far. Multiple Russian channels reported that an ammunition depot is burning in Ostrogosk. Блять, это на железке. 